Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to handle bootstrap drop-down fields using Selenium. So let's get started. First of all, what exactly are these bootstrap drop-downs? Let me explain. When I compare the normal drop-down field that is we call that as HTML drop-down field. Okay, when I compare this HTML drop-down field with this bootstrap drop-down field, then you can understand what exactly is a bootstrap drop-down field. When I inspect a HTML drop-down field in the HTML code, we'll get this select tag, okay? In the HTML code of the drop-down field will have this, we can see the select tag, but here bootstrap drop-down field will not have the select tag. So let me practically show you the HTML code of a normal, that is HTML drop-down field and the HTML code of a bootstrap drop-down field so that you can understand what's the difference, okay? So if I take you to this application, the sample application that is omai.blogspot.com, here there is a sample drop-down field and this is a HTML drop-down field. How can I say? When I right-click on this drop-down field and select inspect option, in the HTML code, you see which tag is there? Select tag is there, okay? That means it's a normal HTML drop-down field. So what about the bootstrap? Drop down field. For that, I'll take you another website, guys, that is hdfcbank.com. If I go to this website, you see that there are some fields which look like a drop down, right? These are some fields which look like a drop down. When I inspect one of these fields here, here, this drop down field, this particular drop down field will not have the select tag. Do you see any select tag here? No, right? When I inspect on this drop down field, you see there is no select tag here. That means this is not a normal or a general HTML drop-down field. It is a bootstrap drop-down field. You see anchor tag is there, some list of options are there in the UI and all, okay? UL and LI elements and all, okay? So this kind of drop-down fields are known as bootstrap drop-down fields. And the developers of the web applications generally use this create or user create this uh, bootstrap drop-down fields because they look better than the general HTML drop-down fields. You see, look wise, they are better, right? That's why developers of the applications go for this bootstrap drop-down field. But coming to Selenium automation, how to handle such kind of bootstrap drop-down field? So for that, guys, I will practically demonstrate this for you, okay? I'll demonstrate how to select the options. For example, I, I want to go to this hdfcbank.com. Then thereafter, I need to select this accounts option in the first bootstrap drop-down field here. And I want to automate selecting the savings account in the second bootstrap drop-down field. For that, guys, I need to launch the editor. So let me launch my editor that is Eclipse IDE I launch. Let's wait for the editor to launch. As you can see here, there is a sample project which is already configured as this Selenium. And inside this project, we have this uh, sample class known as demo class. Inside the class, we have the main method. Here we are going to write some automation code, okay? so. What automation code I'm going to write here is, I want to open this application URL in the Chrome browser. And thereafter, I want to select this accounts option in this bootstrap dropdown field. After that, I want to select savings account in the second bootstrap dropdown field. That's what I want to do, nothing more than that. So for that guys, let me write the automation code. Webdriver manager dot Chrome driver dot Set up and after this, I'll simply say web driver driver is equal to new Chrome driver. So I'll import this web driver from Selenium and also I'll import this Chrome driver class also from Selenium. Now I'll say driver dot manage dot window dot maximize then driver dot get. Here I'll give the application URL. I'll just reduce the lines so that I can write a lot more. So here I'll give the application URL. That is hdfcbank.com I'll give where I have this uh, where I have this bootstrap dropdown fields, right? I have to go to that application page. Once that is done, so how to how to select this accounts option in this bootstrap dropdown field? It's very simple, guys. Okay, unlike the general or the normal HTML drop-down field where we have the select tag, 
we have to create here guys okay if you are handling this html general html drop down field which is having the select html tag in its html code there we need to create an object for this select predefined class in selenium but here for bootstrap drop down you don't have to create an object for the select class of selenium rather you can do it directly guys okay so right click on this drop down field right click on this drop down field that is bootstrap drop down field in the okay some advertisements are coming that's okay inspect this you see in the html code of this drop down field i'm getting this span accounts okay so that's okay we are we are maybe i need to select in a proper way so this is the one guys okay so this is the one so this anchor tag thing if i hide over the mouse here you see the drop down field is getting located so i'll create an xpath expression for uh, locating this anchor tag and all you see on the top here somewhere i see a due with a class known as grp1 this will be unique kind, i guess i'll copy this class attribute value and here i'll create an xpath expression i'll say control f and here i'll get that xbox field here i'll say double slash div square bracket at the right class is equal to i already copied the value of that class so i copied that i'm just giving that you see this section i got located under this div guys another div is there under the div again anchor tag is there instead of going line by line like this slash div slash div slash a, instead of writing like this guys okay what i will do is i'll simply say double slash a okay so it's a shortcut right so like this i'll create an xpath expression and you see this xpath expression is locating this uh, bootstrap drop down field so this is the xpath expression for locating the bootstrap drop down field here i'll come to the automation code and here i'll write driver dot find dot find element by dot xpath i'll say by dot xpath and here i'll provide the xpath expression of that bootstrap drop down field that just now i created right here in the browser whatever the xpath expression i created for locating this bootstrap drop down i'll simply give that and say so i'll just uh, create a web element out of this i'll say what is this uh, drop down field actually there is product types okay these are the different product types so i'll say product product types drop down okay drop down is equal to like this i'll create a web element out of this and now i'll simply say Product types drop down dot click. That's it. I just need to say click, guys. Nothing more than that. Okay. I just need to click on this drop down field. Okay. Web element of this drop down field. I need to click. The moment I click on that, what will happen here is this options list will open up. Okay. So let me refresh this page once. I'll show you from start. So first, I'll click on this select product type drop down. Like this, it will open up. Now I'll select this accounts option. Okay. Which option I want to select? Accounts option. I'll inspect this accounts option here. Okay, in one of the option in this uh, drop down field that is account of accounts option, I'll inspect here. And you see here, uh, this is accounts option, guys. So, how I'll do that is I'll just copy this text, accounts text, and say, Control F, I'll create an XPath expression. I'll simply say, double slash li, text is equal to accounts, I'll say. Simple. Okay. You see, one of one is coming. That means only this option is getting located. So, I'll, I'll take this XPath expression for this accounts option. And uh, here I'll say accounts accounts option is equal to driver dot find element. Again, I'll create a web element out of this xpath. I'll provide the xpath expression and put a semicolon here, and it will return me. I'll hover the mouse on this and say create local variable. You see, web element got created. I'll copy this option, guys, and say account uh, accounts option dot click. I'll say okay accounts option dot click i'll say that's it nothing much guys okay this is how we need to handle the bootstrap drop down field nothing more than this okay so let me run this code right click run as java application so always save and say okay so this script will run this time you see that uh, in the product types drop down field accounts option will be selected now, okay if we have, if i have right written the script properly it has to do that so it will open the chrome browser then Maximize the browser, open the application URL in the drop down field. That is the first uh, bootstrap drop down field. It has to select you see, accounts option got selected. Now I need to select this savings account in the second drop down field. Okay, for that, what I have to do, I have to continue the script. Guys. Let me continue the script here. I'll right click on this select product and inspect this. For that select product, also I'll create an xpath expression. You see, it, ha it also has a unique class, guys. I'll copy this class and uh, I'll locate this anchor tag with the help of this class. So I'll right click on this and say, uh, I'll just say control F and here I'll get this text box. I'll, I'll copy this class attribute value. 
I'll simply say double slash new. At the rate class is equal to, I'll give the class attribute value and say double slash a. That's it. Okay, it, it is locating the second bootstrap drop down field when I hover. You see, one of one is coming, and I'll copy this xpath expression. Come back to the script here and say, this is what uh, actually account, this is actually product, okay, product drop down field, okay, product bootstrap drop down field, okay, product drop down. I'll say driver dot find element by dot xpath. I'll provide xpath expression here. That's it. And I'll create a web element out of this. Done. Now, I just, in order to select an option in this a bootstrap drop down field, product drop down bootstrap drop down field, first I need to click on the drop down field. Okay. Once I click on the drop down field, what will happen? If I click on this drop down field, I'll get this options, guys. In that, I'll select the savings account option. Okay. I'll inspect the savings account. And in the HTML, okay, I need to inspect here, guys. Okay. Select product and I'll just. First, I need to select this accounts, and after that, I'll click on this and select account, savings account. Okay. So for that, I'll inspect the savings account here, and uh, here you see savings account. I'll create an XPath expression out of this. So I'll copy this exp uh, this uh, text between the tags, li tags, and uh, I'll simply say double slash li. I'll create an XPath expression like this. Text is equal to savings account like this. I'll create an XPath expression. You see, only one element is getting located. That is nothing but the savings account. Okay. Savings accounts option. Copy this, and here. You can directly say driver dot find. Uh, you can create an a web element, or you can directly click also. That's up to you. Savings accounts, right? Savings accounts option option is equal to driver dot find element by dot xpath. Provide the xpath expression of that uh, savings accounts option. Now. This will return me the web element. You see, it has created a web element. Now I'll simply say savings accounts option dot click. That's it. Very simple. It's very easy, guys, to automate a bootstrap drop down field. Okay. So if I run this code, you see it will select in both the bootstrap drop down fields, it, the options will be selected, the respective options. The first one, okay, will be selecting one option. Okay. Accounts option will be selected in the first drop down and in the second. Bootstrap drop down field, savings accounts got selected. You see, accounts and savings accounts got selected. So, this is how, guys, we need to handle bootstrap drop down fields in using Selenium. Okay. You have to handle bootstrap drop downs using Selenium. It's very simple, guys. Just need to create the locators for the drop down fields and locates for the options inside the drop down fields and just click on them. That's it. Okay. You don't have to create an object for the select class like you do with the normal or general html drop down fields which are having the select tags in their html code okay so bootstrap drop downs are very simple and uh, easy to automate than the normal or general html drop down fields so uh, that's all for this session guys uh, see you in the next video session thank you bye